Eric Finkelstein. I'm the Deputy Director and Associate Professor of Health Services and Systems Research at Duke NUS in Singapore. Singapore is an interesting place because it's Asian, but it's also, uh, I don't want to say Americanized, but certainly looks a lot like Seattle, for example. And so doing research in Singapore actually sort of crosses uh, the two divides. And so it's a nice place to set up studies, very comprehensive healthcare system, uh, fairly wealthy population. And so a lot of what we do there is nice because we think it'll generalize to the U.S. and other developed countries. But in addition, they're 70 percent Chinese, and so they certainly are representative of Southeast Asia more generally. And so we're using some of what we do in Singapore and trying to look to extend it uh, more broadly within Southeast Asia. Duke NUS is a really great place in terms of opportunity. It's really wide open, lots of, of problems, and in fact, uh, because we're a startup program, uh, there's actually a bit more resources than I think there would be otherwise or there may, may be down the road. And so uh, lots of opportunities for interested students and faculty to engage researchers in Singapore. And in fact, we actually are running a, a program in April where we're flying about 10 to 12 Duke faculty over to Singapore really as a, a bridging project trying to get more collaborations ongoing. And in fact, Part of the reason that I'm here is to work with folks in the business school and folks in global health, folks at DCRI, and look for these types of collaborations. I mean, one of the things I'm quite interested in is seeing the extent of which some of the work that we do here actually translates or replicates in Singapore, and whether or not some of the work I'm doing there would also work back here. And so, the idea to do cross-country studies and replication studies and using Singapore as one of the trial sites is, is really appealing, not just for clinical interventions, but for all the studies that we're looking at. And so uh, creating bridging opportunities is really, you know, what I see as one of my primary obligations right now and something that would benefit Singapore as well as Duke Durham. Even though we've been there a year and a half, we have, you know, dozens of projects ongoing. Uh, in things as, as far and wide as cancer prevention, uh, palliative care. Uh, I'm working on a project on, on eye diseases, for example. And so the whole, whole gamut of clinical cost-effectiveness research, systems dynamics modeling, uh, survey design and development, intervention studies. And so we're really trying to be a full service, health services research program to support the needs of, of a country that, although small, has essentially the same types of problems that we're facing here in the U.S. On a personal level, for myself and my family, it's been a phenomenal experience. And so, you know, our kids are learning Mandarin. They've, they've been able to, you know, do things that they never would have been able to do in the U.S. because Singapore is, is a, a very livable city, a very safe city, a very clean city. And so they've had freedoms that you just wouldn't have had here. And in fact, the, the travel that our, our family has had has been phenomenal. We've been to quite a few different places in the region. And, it's been a great learning experience. It's been great. It really has.